damage today. Lacey Crisp has that story. Governor Walker is touring fields just like this to get an idea of just how bad the drought is. You worry about it, you know, I mean, but there's, you know, you, you try to keep in perspective that there's nothing we can do about it. Jeff Earhart farms about 2,500 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat and says at least 30% of his crops are already too damaged to salvage. He says now the only thing he can do is pray for rain. We do 45% and the big guy does 55%. <laughs> Governor Walker toured Earhart's fields today along with other state officials. This isn't just a short-term issue. This has a potential to be a long-term issue and we want to make sure we're on top of it. The best thing we can do is keep praying for more rain. Walker has already declared 23 counties a federal disaster area, which allows farmers to qualify for low interest loans. Walker also took a helicopter to get a bird's eye view of the dried out crops. Explain to us what it looked like from above. Yeah, I said, the, I was just saying about it, you know, spots like this, literally from, from the air, it looks like you're looking at a golf course and you're looking at sand traps. Such a desperate situation for so many farmers and you just, your heart goes out to them. And, you know, obviously we hope we can give them the help that they need. As for Earhart, he's looking for just one thing. Make it rain. Yeah, you can yeah. see that those leaves on the ears of corn are already turning yeah. brown, not just curling up, but now they're well past that. Corn's so. going to be expensive in the next few months. Yeah. Well, warm